Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you would love to join the Chatterbox, which is a paid channel membership with exclusive content with just primarily doll collectors, it is $1.99 and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Um, we are going to have a live stream this weekend. Um, so I think it's, it's Saturday night. So if you hop in by then, you will be able to catch that live stream. And also, um, I do leave the videos up in most cases. Definitely at least one live stream um, a month is left up for at least 30 days. A lot of times I'm lazy, so you could probably go back and review past content. Um, whatever is still left up that you have access to on the community tab once you become a member um anyway and some of my 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 content crossover like i may do a video here on my general channel and then i may go deeper into the subject or topic into the chatter box um, sometime or i may do a video there that i won't share here or sometime i'll do a video where i'll share it in the chatter box first and then i'll share it out here um, it just kind of gives a little bit of here's what I'm saying in there um, just so I can debunk some of the the gossip and theories that it's something totally different. So anyway, today I have Baby Vegas here. Good gracious, my battery is low. Um, and I wanted to talk about affordable silicones, but I don't know how much time I'm going to have with this, but I was going to change his diaper which um i thought was cute oh this one says love is love the other one said positive vibes only um and it's the same print but i guess they all have different little sayings anyway i, th I was going to put them on positive vibes only because the other baby had one in here um lauren has on positive vibes only speaking of lauren i don't know about you guys but i am over it now I love the kit. I love, I mean, don't get me wrong. Every time I see them, I'm like, oh, but it's like, oh my gosh. Do you guys have any other kits at this point? Like, that is all we're seeing is Laura by Bonnie Brown. Um, but that's what happened when we get starved for a new kit from our favorite sculptors because they don't have the desire to sculpt um, or, you know, release new kits between, you know, people you know, copying or still in their, their, uh, their work. That's where it leaves us. But, um, anyway, my, um, someone, I was looking at, uh, I've seen this video, I think it was, and she was saying that she really wanted to experience a full body silicone, but, um, she was just saying, but the price, you know, is up there. Um, silicone is not for the weak. <laughs> when I say that the weak, I mean, it's, it's not for someone that's looking for something inexpensive. There's nothing inexpensive about, um, silicone. The blank kits is already like way up there. Um, now this is not an affordable. <laughs> well, it's affordable to some people. This is, well, okay. For me, collecting like prototypes, painted silicone prototypes from Claritella to actual dolls from Claritella, this is an affordable way to got, get her kits. Um, they come blank. You find an artist to paint it or you paint it yourself. Um, you can buy the paint kit and the matting from her as well. And you'll have everything you need to pretty much um, paint. I'm trying to think, do the the what she gives is enough to paint a full baby um the paints for sure silicone the a and b um i'm not sure but i'm thinking it's enough if you're not wasteful but most of the time we are wasteful um all right so and that's that but there are other affordable kits out here now here's where i struggle with that part is that a lot of the more affordable kits to me this is just my personal opinion is um uh, 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 is not um 
may not be um, as advanced in the sculpting, if I could say it that way. Um, the sculpting may be a little different than what I'm accustomed to as far as the realism, um, the flow of the kit, you know. Um, you know, there was kit, a kit that I really liked and I really liked the kit, but um, the belly button, which was not a big deal because you could cover it up. The belly button was like the, like, I don't know, it just looked like a little dot in the middle of the stomach. And then the feet were like swollen, like they just was like, you know, like you put something in the oven and it's about to pop and explode. Like those type of little things like that, nuances, sometimes bother me to the point where I just pass on it. But if those are not deal breakers, like you could always cover belly button up with a pamper. Come on, seriously. Um, feet, not a big deal. Put socks on the baby. And there you got it. The face was cute. The, the arms, the legs, everything else. Soft, floppy, beautiful full lips. I mean, you know. So it's, it's definitely um, ones out there that you can, you can, you can go for. That's going to be like, you might only save a thousand dollars. Some you can save a lot more. Um, there's, um, I don't want to really endorse and recommend, you know, other ones. When I go into the chat about, I, I probably will like drop names and stuff but there there is definitely um there is definitely uh sorry I'm just looking at something there is definitely uh ways to get like cheaper babies and then the next hard challenge is always finding someone to paint thing now if you guys are wondering why i'm staring i've stopped to stare at him um when you paint in the silicone sometimes like the it, it it runs or you it's 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 like a sticky substance that you're painting with and so it's really funny so i'm looking at all um like right in the crease of his finger right here like i could have stood to put a little bit more red there and then right on this finger right here I should have put a little bit of more red like right under there like it's yeah so like if if you didn't know any better you would be like oh did it lose paint da 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 but no it's it's like and it's it's like very minute like you can't really see it unless you're like really really like I'm over analytical about my work and so um which is why I, I i am so terrified to paint for other people because i am so hard on myself um to be honest so um but yeah so i was looking at that but it's no big deal because knowing me when i go back to touch up whatever like um shine spots or uh and stuff like that with him I'll do that part. <laughs> I'll go do that part. That's why, you know, like when I paint my own babies, I'm, I always end up doing more to them later because I get anxious and I want to play with them. And then I just end up like not doing everything all at once. Um, Just like right now, one of the things I want to do, he got fuzzy in his eyebrow. One of the things... um. Oh, and I'm I'm learning to do the eyebrows much better now, which is was a big to do for me. Um, but um, one of the things that I've started doing, and I did it with Winter, and I'm going to do it with him too. I think is I normally start rooting with the back of the head, but now I think I'm rooting a little bit more in the front, so I can have an idea of how I'm the baby's gonna the style that I want to go with so that I can, you know, blend it all in together. At least do like the edges just to kind of give a flow. So plus also when I get tired and I want to take a break, I can, you know, clean the excess hair off of them and still dress them and just put on a hat and I can 
push the hat back a little bit and it looks like the baby's fully completed. It's just weird little stuff that um, artists and painters do to um, <laughs> to just so we could still be able to have fun and share pictures and stuff. I'm going to put him on one of these. I'm going to put him on the one that's the boldest with the lion. Um, but yeah, back to affordable silicone. So if you find a kit that's not as expensive, like see, like... Um, nor a normal kit like if I just bought him like not you know if I bought him straight from you know Claire store or um whatever with the drinking wet elbow armatures it would be um twenty nine fifty I think um with if he was open eyed it'd be um like more closer to three thousand so I mean like 3060 something like that um, um so basically pretty much 2900 is 3000 so pretty much a kit with a drinking wet elbow armatures is three thousand dollars now if you get them blank with no no features you know no drinking wet no armatures which to be honest with this new soft silicone you really don't have to have those things as far as the armatures and stuff go Cause they'll kind of pose. I just like being able to like them to really like hold the pose. That's why I'm like always wanting elbow armatures. Um, and it depends on the, the, the structure of the kit, like the arms, like if the arms are going straight down like this, then I need armatures so I can be able to bend them up. Cause babies usually have their hands like up in their face or, you know, all kinds of wicked little ways. They don't, it's not usually just straight down or straight up even so but if it has a little bend to the elbow where you can kind of pose them without the, the armatures i have a baby that i'm working on right now for a customer does not have armatures and the arms work amazing without armatures so you you can get a base for like 2200 that's still a lot for you know most of us that's a lot of money Cause you don't even have paint on it or anything like that um yeah you're gonna lose these socks baby so but if you find a kit you also you know but like i said you're getting the advanced sculpting and the pouring which is amazing and phenomenal um i do have my top kit selections as far as pouring go um, if you guys care to hear where so far what I think and list them in order, um, I can share that with you guys, um, who I think the pores and I've painted, I feel like paints nice, really nicely. You could paint any baby nicely. It's just, some just takes a little bit more work based off of the pour. The pour really matters. Um, but anyway, that's another video, another topic. I'm trying not to run out of um, time with my battery. I think I'm going to put them on these socks. But, um, so, um, yeah, but if you find another one that say, like, they have, I've seen kits as low as 800. Um, they're usually not, it's not even been, I, I can't even say that. They've been full size babies too. Um, preemies, sometimes you, you know, you find people with the preemies a, a lot cheaper. But here's the thing with preemies and people don't understand. Just because you get a preemie doesn't mean that the painter is going to adjust the price because of how small the baby is. Because it takes just as much time to to uh, get that baby painted and stuff. It You may use a little less silicone to paint with them. But the time and, and skill that it takes to do it still takes just as much time if not more because they're tiny and you really got to pay attention um so um with that being said like i said you could find more affordable kits and then find somebody to paint then the other thing is definitely you know there are different people out here paint differently and they you know they charge differently um some people charge really really um really uh, affordable rates for silicone painting. I, I, I have 
somewhat a flat rate in my head but because I don't do customs enough I don't really put a flat rate out I kind of base it off of the work itself and what I'm doing to the baby and all that or whatever but I do know that if it costs me less to buy the kit then um it will you know the markup on it after it's painted and rooted will be less if that makes sense so um so that's you know that's one thing um so yeah just uh, so one of the ways like i said is finding affordable kits um or kits within your budget or buying a kit like say you want a really nice kit that's going to cost you almost 3000 and they have a layaway. You put that on layaway, you get it. It's it's not going to change how affordable it is, but it'll change how easier it is for you to obtain it because people don't understand. They'd be like, oh, I'll do layaway. Well, I'm still going to be out of, you know, $5,000 at the end of the day. Like, you know, um, and can my bank account stand that hit? You know what I mean? So doing me a layaway you know, $5,000 $5,000, $20,000 is $20,000. You know, it don't matter how you break it down. At the end of the day, that's what's coming out of my account. So, um, you know, you keep that in mind because you want to be able to get what you can afford and enjoy. You don't want to be sitting there going, oh God, you know. And then I find, and this, this, y'all, like I said, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys, but I find people that are on a stricter budget is more picky and nitpicky about little things that is like kind of norm with um it's kind of the norm with uh silicone and a lot of us that have had like really high end or high quality or expensive or whatever you want to call it type silicones like had a broad range of silicones from different artists or have seen them you know, whether it's been shows or in our collection, we kind of know some of the nuances that come with silicone. So we kind of know some stuff that's not worth talking about. And, but then, you know, and we know what, okay, well, if I paid a little less, you know, I paid a, a lot less here, you know, okay, that's probably compensating for this or that. But um, when people are new to, you know, the medium or, you know, and they or just even even if not like say even with reborns this apply even with reborns my most expensive babies that sell like that typically for the most part I don't have as many um, questions and gripes from the customers as I do the customers that that aren't accustomed to spending that kind of money because when you're outside of your budget and your your uh your price range you tend to like man i spent my whole life savings on this 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 should be everything this baby should be breathing walking you know crawling you know at this point that's that's the kind of mentality that a lot of people have at that point and i can understand it because trust me sometimes i've felt that you know felt it in my spirit felt it in my soul i was just like ugh no 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 and you know and i still to a certain degree like um some babies like i get them and it might be something that's off on them it could be like i said it could be a slight coloring it can be the sculpt it could be the hair it could be anything and if i pay like a lot of money for it i'm like yep yep you gotta go because <laughs> it's like and i'm gonna spend this kind of money i gotta really love it it don't have to be perfect I just need to love it, if that makes sense. So, but what I've learned is that when I buy babies, like, um, there are sculpts that I have or kits that I have that I've paid less for. And um, I am just more chill and more satisfied. So I, so I have to be careful here because I don't want people to think I'm not satisfied when I buy high-end babies because I think they're amazing and they're worth every penny when you get, you know, one of these dolls. Like, for instance, when you get, like, a Claire Tella doll, you know, painted by her, it's, it, it's amazing. You, you're happy with it. I'm not saying that. 
Um, and I use her as an example because that's all I've bought in the past as far as silicone. But um, I'm sure other people feel the same way about some of their other, you know, other sculptors or whatever that they have had fully completed babies from. But what I'm saying is like, for me, now that I've switched over, like, I don't even know if I could go back. Like, now that I can paint my own babies and actually enjoy them, um, before when I first started painting, I liked them, I liked my work, I thought it was decent, but it didn't satisfy me the way that <laughs> a fully painted baby by, you know, what I consider to be a master artist, it did not satisfy me in that way. Now, I'm not saying or comparing my work to that artist or those artists, I don't feel like, you know, I'm in the same bracket with these people that's been painting for 20 years or so or doing art all their lives or been to school for this stuff. I'm not comparing myself to them in any way. All I'm saying is that now I've gotten to a level of comfort with my own work that it satisfies the realism enough to where I I am okay with having that over, you know, paying top dollar. And, you know, that's probably one of the biggest things that's like changed me over to where you know I can save money and do this you know and and how and still enjoy my babies like to the fullest and feel like they're high quality you know I can dress them as much as I want I don't feel I'm not a, afraid of you know them losing paint and stuff like that um it's you know I'm not saying that it can't happen I'm just saying that you know um that's just how I feel. Um, so, you know, and as I continue to grow, I'm sure I'm going to be, you know, really even more happy with my work. But anyway, the point is, is that when I started buying, you know, within my budget where I'm not like really stressing myself out to get this baby because I really really just wanted this particular baby it wasn't about name or anything I just wanted the realism I wanted you know everything about that baby and I wanted it but it really wasn't within my my budget I've just made it happen or I let go bait other babies that I really love to bring home another baby and sometimes you bring home that baby and it's not what you wanted is what you expected it to give to you the emotion or the excitement and then you've already let go of your best baby so you know it's a lot of Russian roulette with when you're trying to accomplish something that's outside of your normal spending limit so you know I say ease into it and do it with a level of comfort to where you're going to enjoy it after the fact that's all I'm saying so um, yeah, it's great to find ways to be able to afford babies, but make sure when you find those ways, it's not taking you out of your comfort zone or out of your budget to the point where it's going to hurt you later in the long run. So you want to have a baby that you don't mind keeping. Um, Puck was just a painted kit, so he didn't come with bells and whistles and all this stuff. I think he only came with a a blanket, a, you know, like a onesie and a hospital hat or something like that like he didn't come with clothes or anything um and I kept him the longest because I I didn't feel like pressured and he wasn't it's he wasn't cheap but he wasn't the typical price and so I, I found when I look back over and review all the babies that I've had the ones that I've kept the longest in my collection are the ones that I paid the less for if that makes sense and it's probably just because of my level of income and my budget for my hobby um other people have bigger budgets and bigger bigger income maybe um and they can do different and my mindset is a little different now like um right now i i'm splitting my hobby with my other hobby i'm starting to pick that back up so i'm working on organization and home decor in my house so that's going to be taking a lot of my income so that's another reason why I'm selling off my collection because I'm starting to focus on that a little bit more than my babies. They will always be a big part, but they're not they're not going to be priority for 2022. So um, I've set a limit of where I'm only 
a lot in myself to be able to buy two babies this year. And they can be expensive or inexpensive, but that's it. It doesn't count if I sell it or whatever, just two. Um, so I'm going to be very careful with the baby that I bring here next. Because I, I know I can't say I'm not going to buy any babies for 2022. That would just be a lie. Um, but yeah, so and, and, and that includes if I buy an expensive kit such as like a willow or something like that then that will count as a baby because of the price range. But yeah, my my new um my new focus is um I I want to have my walk-in closet redesigned. I actually want somebody to professionally come in and build that closet out for me and um I want to change my locks and stuff to more modern locks internally and just all types of stuff that I got in my head I don't know how I'm gonna do it and then I also have to work on a and this is not your business but I also have to work on my my other um, other home that I don't live in I there's a lot of you know projects that I want to do with upgrading that place and um, doing whatever repairs may be needed on that I'm deciding if I want to go back with renting or um selling it um my children was living in it for quite some time but um they're all in their own places but i i don't know I, sometimes i want to keep it just for them you know um and just for me in case you never know something could happen and i could need to go back there you know i stayed there i i stayed there for a while while this house ended up getting some upgrades all throughout the house my bathrooms and stuff got redone and just all types of stuff like that. But anyway, that's a little bit about me and how I financially be able to afford, you know, this hobby. I try my hardest not to overspend or try to keep up with, you know, um, other people. And I see people doing it. It's very obvious when you see people doing it. Um, but that's their business. So anyway, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Any thoughts, any suggestions? My battery is going dead. Give this video a thumbs up. Talk to you guys later.